Welcome to Solve the Gods India. In this video, I will show you how to download population data sets of any country in the world from worldpopulation.org. Here we have it worldpopulation.org. I will click enter. This is the interface for the site. Data, you click on data. On this site, we have several data sets that is available here for to carry out analysis. But basically, we are interested in population data set. And for the population data set, we have population count, we have population density, and we have population weighted density. And what are the differences between this? Here I have population count. This is the population count here. Why this is the population density? And the last one is the population weighted density. So you can read up on this three to have more understanding about it and to know what each one works for but for this tutorial we are working with population count then you click on population count for population count when i scroll down here constrain individual country united states adjusted under meter resolution so we have basically constraint and unconstrained now for the constraint and the unconstrained when you look ahead of what we have here you can see from this image it shows that count of people per admitted unit and this one shows count of people per admitted unit as well but this one covers the built settlement mass which is this but we don't have it on this particular one so the major difference is that the constraints take into cognizance of the built up area which we can see here while the unconstrained get the population count estimation of the population and this map for further clarification this is the map of Republic of Congo. So coming to this map here, we have the instant map, we have the unconstrained, while we have the constraint as well. For this unconstrained, the population is given in general. It covers the whole area. Why for this constraint? It is restricted to the regions of the build up areas, as you can see from this map. When you look at the build up areas, unconstrained only covers the build up areas here. Yeah. That's the major difference from the explanation which I gave earlier. And I believe in the image, it's more clear to understand the differences between the constraint and the unconstrained. Moving forward now, we are to download this map. So what was to do is download the population boundary for our region. And to do that, I prefer to work with United Nations adjusted. This can show individual United Nations adjusted on a resolution. I'll click on it and immediately I click on it. You can select the country you want to download the population count for or if you use the search here you type the country name on this search. I'll just type the country name which is Nigeria. I want to download for Nigeria. I'll click on data and resource this as source data you can use the references here for any paperwork maybe when you are writing a project or you are working on a paper presentation then you scroll down you click on download so after downloading the data set the next thing is to import it into your gis software for processing in the case that i want to work with qgis for instance visualizing the data set you click on this open data source and you select the directory where you have the data set that was downloaded so after you select the directory you click on it then after you click on it you click on add and you click on close so we have it now this is the new one i just added now now we when you want to work change the color and do some other settings you can definitely come to this layer under this layer when you click on this icon this is the when you close, you close this when you click on this icon so you can see layer styling and under this styling now you can change this so you can change this to use do color you have the color Ramp, you can play with the color ramp and change select the color ramp that you want to use. When you click on this drop down arrow, you can select the color ramp. We have several of it there. We also have the you can also change the classes. Another thing we can do here is when you click on this identify, you can identify the features from your Canva. This is it here. This particular data set comes with just a single band, which is you can see on this screen there. But don't forget what the downloaded was hundred meter resolution which means that it gave you the population within the nearest 100 square meter resolution when i click on this from here now but it varies it varies some places do not have data you can see no data here you have data here why some places have data these are these and with this now i believe you can download population data of any place in the world and import into your gis software for further analysis see you on my next video